Hello friends, today we will see how to configure grub to setting. In RH CSA exam, this comes uh, as task to change the grub setting. Like uh, they will give you the task that uh, modify grub to bootloader settings, not to boot the system with GUI mode. Uh, the, so that you can see the whatever what are the booting process will be there and uh, all the statements that come and uh, the second they can give you that to make sure that network interface that will it should start from the eth so this two tasks will come to um, mostly on our uh, this rscsa exam so guys <clears throat> to do grub setting task or to set the parameters change the parameters on grub 2 we have to edit the its configuration file which resides inside let's go to it so if you will see this file that is under etc default and curl. so this is the uh, configuration file that which grub use while loading it so you would have seen when uh, uh, system reboot or you so at that time booting of time you will have seen that if there are two operating systems so they'd give the menus which have to be selected and if you are not selecting at that time it's uh some time goes off for around you know one minute or two minutes and uh, if you didn't enter any option choose any option then it will start automatically booting it so this is all taken from this file only as you can see that here it is written grub timeout equal to five distribution versus the linux uh, operating system you are choosing and uh, what it will do when crash so this is all parameters will be there so it takes from this one so in this case what uh, we have to do it like you can see in uh, we are interested into this parameters grub underscore cmd line that is command line underscore linux so here the last one is rhgb quite this mean rhgb mean red hat graphical boot so it making it as a quiet quiet means silence so what will happen when the system boot it will not show any booting sequence actually how it's booting it it will just show you a blinking or you know some other icon and it will with the minimal on console any of the of the you know booting commands for this running it so it will all hide the running things and it will take you directly to the either to the command prompt or to the your graphical whatever has been set it as a default so in this case what uh, the task has been given to us is that it should not be rhgb should not be in the quiet mode and we can see it so what we have to do it we will change this file so so that uh, the all the command lines can be shown and uh, you know all the booting sequence can be shown so what we will do we will update this file etc default default and grub So this uh, file can be added through the root only so now what we'll do we will remove this and to add it and save the file So once we save the file, now if we will reboot it, if we, after saving this file, if we will reboot it, 
you will see that uh, there is no changes has been done and uh, grab2 is not is still not taking any changes and uh, you will not see the boot information while booting so the reason is it grab2 do directly do not run this file this is the parameters file only it's not the grub configuration file so the grub uh, configuration file resides under boot file system that is boot grub2 and uh, let's check it here coincide it let's check so here you can see grub.cfg file so this is the file which is they use for running the grub while all the parameters been read by this configuration file which we saw earlier so this configuration file use that parameter files so let's check what's inside in this file that is a grub.cfg so if you will go inside this file you can see there are lots of booting sequence had beside it you know all the parameters how so this is the shell script actually which is used to setting up the parameters and running those parameters so this file you cannot edit directly because this is internally being used by the grub so if you have to change any grub parameters edit any grub parameters in that case you have to change it into the grub parameters file which i just show you earlier so that's file i have already updated it but still this uh, configuration file will no, uh, not read those parameters so what we have to do it we have to rebuild the grub configuration file so to rebuild the uh, grub configuration file we have to use the command grub to make config so this is the command used to rebuild the grub configuration file so let's check go to the man and check it what it show to you here you can see this name is grub make config which generate a grub configuration file so it rebuild the grub configuration file actually and minus o is used for outer file and some other option no grub environment update and other configuration is here so let's rebuild our configuration file that is a uh, grub2 dot uh, make config minus o that is output and give the grub configuration file where it should reside that is uh, that is residing in grab to grab dot configuration file cfg so we are rebuilding the configuration file this one which is already been exist is there so you can see that it's generating now it's done so it has generated the grub configuration file so what will happen now when we will reboot it it will show all the booting steps and sequences it will show on the console only let's reboot it and check it so this is the grub menu it is giving option and you can see the time is there five seconds is set it here this time we have removed the rgb quite it should show all the sequences all these steps here now see you can see lots of logs will be there it providing all the informations about starting stopping ac linux mounting whatever is mounting is showing all the details all the logs of those things so this is very necessary actually and this is needed by the administ admins to check it if anything wrongs happen with the uh, with the storage or other things so you can see it has shown all the images the, all the logs will be there on the console so this is how we will set it the grub parameters that will be checked by the grub so there are two steps right which uh, you should remember in the rhcs exam that first you have to change the parameters and then don't forget to rebuild the grub configuration file 
so this is the two steps involved in this task so let's check again if we will put it again um, let's con put it back the parameters that is uh, ATC default and group so now I'm just editing again and putting uh, RGB quite RSGB quite so in this case what will happen now save the file clear it so now added this file again so let's make it grab to make config minus o and the output file that is boot grab to and grab configuration file fine so it will rebuild it because uh, grab configuration file now it's done so let's reboot and check whether the boot information is available on console or not stopping right now so this time it should show only minimal information boot uh, booting information on the console see so it go directly through the GUI or the command prompt it has not shown the booting information on the console so this is it has all the see so it has come on directly to the command so, so this is how the RAGP works let's log in with this root again so this is the first parameter we have done it so now the second task what sometimes they give is that the your network interface should start with ATH that's ith prefix actually so for that that is still uh, grub parameters that's required to be changed so I will let you know that what are the parameters there you can note it down and you can learn also because this is added this file then etc default and grub file so what you have to do for this thing let's go into insert mode for let's remove this because I need that uh, all the booting informations while it's booting so for the network interface to be start with the ETH what we have to do it we have to use net dot if names equal to zero parameter and uh, we have to choose it a uh, another parameter that boys dev name equal to zero zero so these are the two parameters use net dot if names equal to zero and boys dev name equal to zero so you have to set them as a zero and what you have to do it yes we have to save this file and next step we have to rebuild this file then only these parameters will be available to the grub configuration file so grub2 make config minus o and the output file that is boot grub2 and grub This is done. So next time, what will happen whenever you will create a new connection? In that case, the network interface name will start from the ATH. This is how it works. So I hope, uh, guys, you would have you have liked my videos. So thank you very much for watching my videos.